This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'll show you how to use the audio limiter in Final Cut Pro 10. Serge asks, on a video you did a while back with reference to using logic limiter effects on vocals inside Final Cut Pro 10, in the latest version of Final Cut, the limiter has a mode, Precision True Peak Detection on or off, or Legacy Soft Knee on or off. Which one should I use when applying the limiter filter to audio clips? Both of these have a benefit. True peaks are defined as the actual peak of a sound which may be louder than the sample rate indicates, especially between samples, or use a soft knee. My recommendation is I prefer the Legacy Soft Knee on. Let me show you how to set that. If I apply an audio filter, there's the logic category. The limiter filter is in the levels section. And we'll just drop the limiter filter on top of our clip. Go to the inspector. There's the limiter. See the limiter? The way you adjust the limiter is this icon right here. The presets are not particularly that good, but that icon allows us to access the interface. This is the mode that he's talking about. The new version has precision with true peak detection on. There is some math involved that between sample rates, you could get some distortion when your audio is, is at or above 0 dB. But for me, I like the sound of the limiter more when I set it to legacy and make sure soft knee is turned on. So in answer to your question, legacy on. Then for the rest of the settings, you want to set your output level to be the maximum that you want the audio gain never to exceed. For me, that output is negative 3 dB always. Look ahead is always 2 milliseconds. Release is any number greater than 300, somewhere between 3 and 500 is where I set it. It says how long the filter is going to remain in effect after the last piece of audio went through. I like a half second or more. So these are always set the same. I always set it to legacy, always set these to the same numbers. And then all I do is I simply increase the gain until the reduction column, the chart that's in here, is bouncing between 1 and 3 dB. So here, I'm going to pull this up a bit. See now how it's bouncing, that center column is bouncing between 1 and a half and 3 dB? That's what I want. That tells me that I've adjusted the setting on the limiter. Once I get it set again, play back. You adjust the limiter so reduction is bouncing right between not more than 3. If it's more than 3, you've got to pull this down. So these four settings are always the same, and the only one I adjust is the gain. This has been an excerpt from a recent Power Up webinar called Ask Larry Anything. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.com store and look for Webinar 259. By the way, membership is a great value when you need to stretch your training dollars. Membership in our video training library saves you money and time. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only nineteen ninety nine. That's more than 1,900 movies, hundreds of hours on a wide variety of subjects. Plus, premium members can download practice media and projects. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it multiple times each month. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.com slash membership. And thanks.